guys welcome to my youtube channel i am super glad that you guys are here um <laughs> this is just gonna be like an introduction to my youtube channel um i get a lot of requests on instagram of people who like really don't know who i am <laughs> and i i get it it's confusing my life's confusing um because i don't even know where to sit um because originally I'm from South Africa, so I have some South African followers, but then I moved to the United States, so then I have American followers, and it's just all over the place. So, <laughs> I thought that we can have, like, a coffee and a chat, but my coffee is uh, not here, so we'll just have a chat instead. <laughs> so, um, first of all, my name is Cindy, and my last name is Von Anafeld, and I was born in South Africa, in Johannesburg, that's where I live, and I have a twin brother, and I went to an Afrikaans school, um, I went to Wishkogenton Park, and that was like my school I graduated from high school, and I used to be a track athlete, that's how I made it to the States, I actually got recruited on a Facebook message for track, <laughs> so that's how I was able to come to the United States. And I was in a very big race with Coster Zemenya, and it was on the 800. It was like um, a seniors champion like race, and at this race, people would come and try and qualify for the Olympics. Obviously, I was not going to do that, you know, but I was glad to make the final in that race and be seen. So that's how I got a, a random Facebook message. And I remember like going on Facebook scrolling, you know, didn't really care about like my messages. And I saw this request and I was like, a message request? And you know how it's like kind of hidden? I was like, oh, I have message requests. What are these? So I clicked on it and like the first one was on the top and it was like a recruiter from South Alabama was like, oh, I saw your race. I would love to like recruit you. And at first I thought it was a joke. But then the coach flew to Emperor's Palace, which is like 15 minutes from my house, met me, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna leave. Um, so I got a full scholarship at the University of South Alabama for track. I also had one in South Africa, but obviously decided to move. So I moved, I got on a plane when I was 18, and I just left and my parents were concerned because we were going to move to Australia for the longest time. But they were like, oh, but maybe like they're not going to be able to learn English that well. Because we had basic English, but not like college level, you know. So they were concerned that I had to like redo high school or something. I don't, I don't know. Anyways, now I go to an English school and I'm just like, what? <laughs> Anyways. So I came to the United States when I was 18 and then I just did my track career and my first semester I didn't work, I was just running track and just figuring out like how things work over here because apparently people drive on the different side of the road and there's a lot of difference on um, like how can I say this, accents and like sometimes I, I still I'm like what are you saying? <laughs> Because at the beginning, it, it sounded so foreign to me, like so hard, and people did not understand me either, but I've gotten to learn. And then I was staying here for quite some time, and then I went back after my first semester to South Africa to see my family. I worked during that time, and my whole family, like, they thought that I was going to just quit and never come back to the States, but... I came back my second semester and I got a job, I started working, and that helped me a lot to pay a lot of my bills. Not that I had like too many to pay, you know, but things outside of full food and like living, I needed to you know, have toiletries and stuff. Who's gonna buy that? <laughs> you know? Um, so I kind of just got a job, worked for them. And so, at this time, I was, like, doing school, track, work, like, super busy. And then I got into a relationship to add to that. <laughs> so, I was in a long relationship for, like, two years. And, yeah, it was crazy. Um, and then, during the pandemic is when I graduated. Literally, when the pandemic started, I had two semesters left. So, it was so crazy to me because I literally did not know... <laughs> left or right, I was like, 
I lost my job on campus, which is fine because it closed. I just couldn't do it, you know, so I wasn't getting paid. But then also, like, they were like, oh, like, track's going to end now, and you're a senior. You can either, like, take another year, or you can, because it would be stupid to take a year if I'm graduating in December, because I'd be training for, like, one semester and not racing. So why would I do that? So, like, you can take one if you want it another year. And I was like, you know what, honey? I think I'm done. <laughs> And so, um, I was kind of just tired of track. Um, it became like a mental game for me. And I wish that people would talk about mental health if you're a D1 athlete. Because I really needed that. Anyways, I moved on from track. And I decided that that semester was going to be my last semester. Um, I got my, like, senior plaque thingy. And I left. And I was just doing school online, you know, I was living with my boyfriend at the time, not doing anything much. And then finally, I started school back in August, my last semester, I had four classes left. So I did my four classes and I was working again. And that's when I kind of just started modeling again. And um, that's just been what I've been doing. So then I graduated in December of 2020. Yeah, we're in 2022. <laughs> I always have to think, because this is like a new year. Um, in 2020, with a degree in psychology and business management. And then I had to find a job. So this is the challenging part. If you're foreign and you're graduated, you need to find a job in three months or you need to leave the country. And so my parents thought, okay, she's going to come back. She's going to, like, live at home now. We have her back. And unfortunately, I was like, I'm going to find a job. Because <laughs> I, I wanted to do my master's. Like, that was my absolute goal. I, I really wanted my master's. And so I was like, okay, we're going to find a job. So I found a job in a month and a half of literally during the pandemic. It was insane. So I worked for a few months, traveled a lot during the time, did a lot of modeling, had more time to like do things that I personally wanted to do in my four years that I just couldn't, but now I can. So I worked, did that, and then in August of 2020, that's when I started my master's program. And I started my master's program at the University of South Alabama in Brain and Behavioral Science Psychology, which is basically neuropsychology. And I'm applying to a PhD in probably in the fall of this year for clinical neuropsychology because that's like literally what my passion is. Um, I like learning about the brain. I like learning about deficits. I like knowing a lot of, like about speech disorders and things like that. And a lot of people didn't like find that interesting, but I do. Um, and my research is mainly empty DNA research and inflammation research, which I absolutely adore. <laughs> a lot of people hate when I talk about it, so I'm not going to bore you guys with it. But um, definitely going to apply to a program that I'm passionate about. Maybe in New York City or California, that's where I'm planning on moving. Because where I live right now, um, we do not have a PhD for what I want to do. There's other ones that I can do, like a biomedical science PhD or something like that, but not really my passion, you know, not really what I want to do. So we'll keep our options open and see what happens. I still have some time to think about that. And then, yeah, other than that, I am an academic, academic advisor. I am a model and I am getting my master's right now. I also started in Brent recently, so if you guys want to check it out, you can check out my website. I'll link everything below. And that's about it about me. Um, I'm 23 for those asking. Um, and yeah, I'm an Aquarius, if that matters. <laughs> I'm always like, people ask me the most random questions, so. Anyway, that's enough about me. That's just a little background of who I am. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe. Please like. Please look at my next videos. I'm going to share a lot more. And I'm excited to learn about you guys too. Please comment what you want to know about me. And I will answer below. Anyway, thank you for visiting.